The Materials Recovery Facility, MRF, is housed within the Tuas Nexus IWMF in Singapore. Trucks with co-mingled recyclables arrive at the MRF. The MRF is expected to treat 250 tonnes per day of waste. Trucks discharge the waste into the bunker. The recyclables, which are usually packed in bags, are fed into the plant by a waste crane. The waste crane feeds the bag opener with waste bags. The shredder will receive oversized fraction from Trommel screen, larger than 320 mm, to be crushed. The bag opener opens the bags and releases the contents into a chain conveyor. The shredder will receive oversized fraction to be crushed and sent into the same chain conveyor. The Trommel screen split the waste flow into different sizes. The different fractions are collected in different belt conveyors and driven to different sorting processes. The 60 to 160 mm fraction and 160 to 320 mm fraction are sent to optical sorters, where the plastic fraction and the paper fraction are separated from the waste flow. The ballistic separator divides the plastic flow in two fractions, 3D fraction, PET, PP, HDPE, other plastics, and 2D fraction, LDPE film. The overband magnetic separators take the ferrous fraction from the waste flow, and the eddy current separators will separate the non-ferrous fraction from the waste flow. These equipment are to separate the glass fraction from the 0 to 60 mm flow. The paper fraction is sorted in different types – brown cardboard, newsprint PAMs, Tetra and other papers – using optical sorters and mechanical separation. From the 2D fraction coming out the ballistic separator, the LDPE fraction is sorted by means of two near-infrared separator near units. From the 3D fraction coming out the ballistic separator, the PET fraction, PP fraction and HDPE fraction are sorted by means of four near units. The rejects fraction is sent to a last near, called scavenger, with the aim of recovering plastic and paper elements that were not possible to sort in the previous near units. The different fractions are stored in bunker belt conveyors and baled afterwards. The resulting bales are stored in the bales area. Periodically, a truck will transfer the bales to their final destination. The output fractions are PET, PP, HDPE, LDPE film, Tetra, newsprint and PAMS, brown cardboard and other paper plus non-ferrous. A forklift will take the bales from the baler and move them into the bale storage. The automated sorting process uses 17 near units with no manual sorting. Different output fractions have a high recovery rate and will be baled. Rejects are sent automatically to the incineration bunker in two points that work alternatively. The optimization of the space has been made in different plant levels. Level plus 0.00 meters, level plus 5.30 meters, level plus 14.00 meters. Redundant equipment provided to avoid plant stops include the Nears Mix Paper, the Nears Mix Plastics, belt conveyors to incineration bunker and the shredder and bag opener.